Hi, this is a tutorial on how to create a custom date stamp or a timestamp for uh, Adobe Acrobat 10. Before we begin, make sure your ha you have your custom stamp ready in either JPEG or in PDF format. This is my custom stamp in a uh, JPEG format. And make sure you have a uh, handy uh, PDF document around. This is one that I just actually just made up. And you will need to write down this custom script here. The first line of code helps you find out what the actual file name of the PDF is that you're, uh, you'll be creating the uh, custom stamp out of. And the second line, second group of, uh, of uh, code here is actually what the will prompt the user when uh, entering the uh, date stamp. So if you want, go ahead and pause the video and uh, write down these two scripts. Okay, now that you've written both scripts down and uh, put it into a text document, go ahead and save it and minimize it. Now we're going to start and create a custom stamp. Make sure you have your era stamp image ready. This one's mine. Go to Acrobat. Go to Comment. Annotations. Stamp. Custom Stamps. Create Custom Stamp. Now you're going to browse to your stamp image. It could be either in JPEG format or in PDF format. Mine is in a JPEG format. And select the image. Okay, now that the image loaded up, go ahead and click OK. And create a category name. Then create a name for the stamp. I'm going to call mine received. then click OK okay at this point go ahead and close Acrobat now open Windows Explorer go to your C drive and under Windows 7 you're going to go under users but if you have uh, Windows XP you're going to go under documents and settings so once you go into users, go to your user folder, then go to app data. And if you don't see app data in uh, Windows 7, go ahead and hit Alt, go to Tools, Folder Options, go to the View tab, and make sure you have Show hidden files, folders, and drives selected. If you don't, go ahead and do that now. And click OK. OK, so now under App Data, go to Roaming, Adobe, Acrobat, go to version 10, then go to the Stamps folder, and now you will see the this uh, PDF file. This is the file that gets created when you created that stamp from that image of your stamp. So let's go ahead and rename this PDF document. And let's call it, well, call it whatever you like. I'm calling mine made up received. Okay, now that you renamed the file, go ahead and double click on it. Acrobat will load and you will need to scroll down. And here is your stamp image in a PDF format now. So now we're going to we're going to have to put a date field here. So now you would have to hit 
select tools you go to forms and hit create go ahead and select the default use the current document or browse to a file hit next use current document next and it's going to say no new form field annotations were detected that's okay click OK and now we're going to add new field you have several options but for this tutorial we're selecting text field go ahead and click on it and move it over to the middle of your stamp and the field name we're gonna call it date so once you've done that hit enter right click in the text field select properties go to appearance change the font size to 10 and select the text color that you want Go to options and the alignment go ahead and select center that way the uh, date is centered on stamp now go to the calculate tab go to custom calculation script hit edit and this is where you're going to open that text document that you saved earlier and this is where this two scripts come in handy so go ahead and get the script that goes under getting actual file name it's a two line code go ahead and select it control C then go into the JavaScript editor box control V so we can paste the code click OK and close go ahead go ahead and save it and save it with the same file name and replace the existing file yes close the uh, file and uh, acrobat if you want now uh, go ahead and minimize your uh, your text document and let's open a uh, PDF file so I'm going to open this one that I created earlier double click on it okay now go ahead and open up any PDF document that you may have double click on it so then go to comment annotations stamp and now you see that category that you created earlier my company stamp go to the actual stamp click on it and set it in an open area of the uh, PDF click on it and now you see these weird characters on the stamp it's important that you write down exactly how it is displayed here at this time you can write it down exactly how it is or go ahead and just close the document do you want to save changes to the PDF before closing no so now under open a recent file go ahead and open your stamp that you created earlier I called mine made up received go ahead and scroll down and now you see that same uh, weird characters listed in the previous document the easiest way is just to highlight all of the text control C and then open your uh, text document with all the scripts and you're going to place it under the quotation marks in this line of code that is under the PDF date pop-up script so go ahead and delete that and paste the current characters 
So now that you've done that, go ahead and select all of the script on their PDF date pop-up pop script. Control C to copy. Go ahead and minimize. And then back to your to your stamp. Go to tools on the forms. Click on edit. And then right click on the text field. Now select properties. And you may go to the calculate tab then on the custom calculation script click edit and delete all of this code now you can do control V and that paste the uh, the new script click OK and at this time under general uh, I'm sorry under appearance you can go ahead and change the font size the reason why we ch we changed it to two was so we can get all of the characters within the box. So now you're free to make it at a font size 14. Click close and hit save. Okay, now that you saved it, you can go ahead and close Acrobat. And now you can open any PDF file that you have handy. Go to Comment, Annotations, go to the stamp, go to your st stamp you created. And now you see the pop-up field. Please enter date filed. Let's just do July 29th, 29th. Oh, should I say 31st, 2012. Click OK. And there you have it. A custom made stamp for Adobe Acrobat. And the reason why you may want to create a, a custom date is because you may want to back uh, stamp a, a particular document that you may have forgotten or something and you need to back date the, uh, the document. So this is one reason for the purpose of this tutorial is to teach you how to create this custom stamp with the uh, date stamp or time stamp. And if you want to make this stamp uh, transparency, go ahead and right click on the uh, stamp. Go to properties. Under opacity, I would suggest you do 50%. And you may want to make properties default and click OK. And now your stamp is transparent. Every time you bring up the stamp, it should now be transparent on any PDF document you load it on to. So thank you for watching my tutorial on how to create a custom date stamp in Adobe Acrobat. Hope you liked the video. Thank you.